Hey friends, what's up? Kaz here. Welcome back to another server avatar or bucket spigot plugin tutorial. If you're joining for the first time, feel free to that subscribe button because I do these every week. If you have a suggestion of one you'd like me to do, feel free to comment that jibbles below. That would be the comment section for your new people. And I will give you a shout out when I get around to it. And if you find this video helpful, please leave a like because that helps me out for helping you guys out. The uh, request list for this one is extensive and it is a fantastic plugin. Swift Gaming, Jack, Edens V, Hor Horizon, Parker Plays MC, Derpoy, Tom Plays MC, Fire Lemon, Universal Melon, Oliver Goes Live, Connor 3253, Star Wars Freak 2191, Joe the Gamer 909, uh, Judd Says Sings sings bertram bims and video gaming with sean's oh my goodness this is auction house made by recolance recolance and i think the reason it's been requested is because it is kind of particular in how you set it up but it's super easy and a fantastic plugin so auction house is it's basically like a cross server-wide global selling network through a gui it requires spigot 1.8.1 it requires a sql database even though it doesn't say so on the website and it requires java 8. so if you're with a hosting company like mc pro hosting link is in the jibbles if you want to sign up with them that's what i'm actually playing on right now because they offer databases with their servers you can set that up we'll go over how to connect all that it's a little bit uh, tricky sometimes that's all in the config file before we get over to there we're going to go over how this plugin works. Now it's super simple. You basically do a AH help. So auction house help that gives you all the commands, which you don't really need except the sell command because you do a H and you can see all the stuff for sale so you can buy it. Now I only have, I think a hundred bucks. So if we do a H and we try to buy something that's more, it says you cannot afford it. It changes it to a uh, rose. So you can't even pull that stuff out, which is really cool. Um, even if you try to do some other tricks, but we can buy that and then we can, it, it confirms and then we're like, yeah, we're going to buy that. Uh, oh, sorry. You hit confirm over here. So there we go. Item purchased. It goes into our, into our inventory. So we can do AH sell, and then we're going to do 500 bucks and we need at least $202. So eco give, since I actually have money. So that's all set up in the config file. So we're going to do AH sell. Uh, for 500 now whatever uh, is selected is going to be posted on the the auction house now if it doesn't actually get bought it will expire out and it'll be in this list of expired you have 48 hours by default for any auctions to expire if you decide i don't i messed up you hold shift and then right click and it actually cancels it now it doesn't go back into your inventory you have to go to your expired auctions and then you click on it to return it to yourself which is really cool and you can access all that stuff by doing ah expired to see all that and then you could do ah listed to see all the stuff that you've put up if you have a lot of stuff and then it's the same thing shift right click to cancel all that stuff pretty easy the permissions are set up out of the out of the gate if you do want to limit how many auction items they put up you do auction dot limit dot uh, the number so however many you want them 5 10 15 whatever and then if you want to give your mods ability to force close other auctions that would be auction dot admin dot expire that allows admins to do that shift right click on all other auctions that are out there pretty cool that's it that's all it is in the game, simple. Now the difficult part is the database. Let's hop over to the config file and take a look at that. Okay, so here we are. We're actually FTP'd into the server. Like I said, this whole thing is from a hosted environment because they offer databases. If you're running at home, you have to set up your MySQL on your own. And I don't really have any tutorials for that, but there's great guides on the website. Link will be in the jibbles for how to set that up. So we're going to jump into the plugins. Now you want to start your server. It's going to fail because it's got to build out your configuration. If you don't get this folder, then it's failing to start altogether and you're missing something else. Like you're not on the right version of spigot or whatever. So we're going to hop into auction and then we're going to open up our config. So this is where you, you put in your database information. Now, obviously this is all going to be changed by the time this video is up. So don't even try it using this stuff. Uh, this is all stuff that I got from my hosted company, my, the host, the username, password. Now the password 
it's key that you leave it in those those single quotes. If you don't, then it's going to wipe it out and it's going to come back as .inf and then you're going to error out and you're never, your plug is not going to run. That's probably why 90% of people are having issues is because they're not setting up their SQL database. Use the single quotes around your password as well as the port and then that should work for you. So now here's where you set up your listing price. You have to have a minimum of $2. Your listing hours, it's by default how, many t how long it's going to go for. You can't change how long you will put an auction up for. So it's 48 hours. Unclaimed hours, 2 or 40. Prevent creative sale, that's pretty self-explanatory. Max sale price, all that. You can change all the menu text, the colors, all that stuff lower. Um, you can't really change the items in any of the menu, but you can say you can change what it says, which is really cool. This is a very super simple, fantastic uh, buying and selling plugin or auction plugin. That's all. Let's get back and wrap it all up. So that is it. Hopefully this helps you get started. This is a great, fun little plugin. The main thing to keep note of is that SQL database. You need the single quotes around the password in order for it to connect. And that's all. Have some fun with it. This is Kaz reminding you guys all, enjoy the game. Guys? Oh, hey, we're driving. Oh, dude. Oh, oh, oh. Did you see that? That cop totally ran that red light. Cop number four.